How's it going? Batty McBad here. Welcome to another video. Hey, give me. That's mine. Stop it. Hey. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. How's it going? Armageen here. Welcome to another video. Lightly assisted by Batty McBad. <laughs> in this one, I'm going to be looking at what ships the Mirai Fury will fit inside. I'm going to be focusing on ships that I think are interesting and ones that maybe are a little more questionable for fitting the Fury. I'm going to be leaving out the ships with really huge cargo bays or hangars like the 890, as we know for sure they'll fit a bunch of Furies. As you can see in these clips, CIG already showed us how these ships would fit in those larger cargo bays. And make sure you watch till the end for a discovery that I found pretty interesting. Here we go. First up is the Hammerhead. It is a large ship, but the cargo bay is relatively small and really only meant for a rover, so I was interested to see if this one would fit. It went in just fine, and you can definitely fit one Fury on the elevator with no problems at all. If you're really committed, you can actually get two Furies in a hammerhead by balancing one on the edge of the deck in the vehicle bay. There is no way you're getting these out of here in a hurry, though. Next is a 600i. One Fury fits perfectly on the elevator. You can also fit more around the edge, kind of like the hammerhead, but you have a lot more space to work with here, and I think you could probably get a few more in, and they'd be much more stable than the hammerhead. You just have to be cognizant of where you're positioning that aft landing gear so the ship doesn't fall through the hole when the elevator opens. Next up is the Mercury Star Runner. The Fury fits through the door with ease. Once it's in there, you have plenty of room to maneuver, and this allows for some really interesting ways to stack these things up. Being careful, we were able to get four in without much of an issue. It did get a little squirrely there for a second, but we figured out afterwards the two outside Furies didn't have their engines turned off. The Corsair is next. No real surprises here. It fit through the door no problem, and we were able to get two and a half in. There was some uh, accidental reckless driving on the first one, but I think you'd probably get four in here without any issue. Next is the Mighty Cutty Black. To my delight, it fit no problem through the door, and I think you'd probably get three in here. It is a pretty tight squeeze and you do have to take it a little bit slow. I didn't test the cutty blue or red, but I estimate that they would fit just fine in the back area near the ramp. Let me know if you can confirm that. Side note, don't fall into space without a spacesuit on. Next is a Vulture. I had pretty high hopes for this one as it could make for some interesting surprise attacks, but unfortunately, I just could not get it to fit in any way, shape, or form. This unfortunately told me that ships with doors that are any smaller than the Vultures aren't going to work either. So that would be all the starter ships, including the Cutter. Next is a Constellation Andromeda. One Fury fit on the elevator really well. There was plenty of room to walk around it, and clearance above too. Initially, it looked like we may actually get two in there, so we give it a shot, but unfortunately, that elevator is just not long enough. I think there's a good chance you could get two in a Taurus, though. I also think you might be able to balance one up on that ledge, hammerhead style, but it would probably be pretty dicey. The Furies were so tightly packed in this configuration that when we tried to leave, it ended in a triple explosion. Next up is the Nomad. This actually made a great little Fury trucking platform. Although I'm not really sure what the utility would be other than giving the Fury a quantum drive. It's best to back it in for easier Fury cockpit access, but because there's no direct access to the cargo bay from the Nomad's cockpit, you can't really get to the Fury when you're in atmosphere. You'd have to land and walk around or EVA in space. The good old Freelancer is next. Similar to the Cuddy at first, the similarities kind of end as you get through the doors. The Cuddy has way more room once you're inside to maneuver and the damn turret in the Freelancer really gets in the way. This should hopefully give you an idea of how the Fury would work with the other Freelancer variants like the Dur and the Miss. We'll look at the Max in a minute as it's a whole different beast. I was just happy we fit one and didn't really push it too hard after that. I think there might be a chance if you can get past the turret entrance that you could potentially get more in. Next is the Freelancer Max. Getting Furies in and out of the Max was significantly easier than the base Freelancer. You can definitely get two in there without any kind of complicated maneuvering. If you want to push it though, I'm pretty sure three would fit just fine if you go diagonally. It's a little dicey when you get Fury so close together, but as long as you keep the engines off, it seemed like it was stable enough.
Up next, we have the 400i. Unfortunately, once again, much to my disappointment, I could not get this guy to fit. I was really hoping this would breathe some new life into the 400i until we get that X1 in. I did try it from both directions and in multiple configurations, and there was just no getting it to work. And finally, we have the one that I'm most excited about that I alluded to in the intro. A massive ship, but a tiny cargo ramp, the Reclaimer. I don't think it's really a surprise to anyone that the Fury fits nicely on the Reclaimer's elevator, but did you know you can actually put a Fury on every deck of the Reclaimer except for the Habitation deck? Initially, I called it a day at one Fury on the elevator, as when we tried to put it into the cargo bay, it just did not fit. But then I had an idea, and I went back and tested it again. Because of the shape of the Reclaimer's internal doors, you can actually get it onto every deck. All you have to do is expand the configuration of the Fury. This transformer party trick allows the Fury to squeeze into the huge expansive areas of the Reclaimer. The only door that the Fury did not fit through was the one for the salvage hold for some reason. I'm still not sure exactly why, but I'm guessing there's some invisible geometry in the way. You can actually see here going into the cargo deck that there's a little chain hanging down that's actually interfering with the Fury going in. It's pretty easy to work around though. Conveniently though, the salvage hold deck is connected to the salvage processing deck at the rear of the ship. If you put down that little rear elevator, you can actually squeeze the Fury down and into the salvage hold. Transforming again lets you get under the beams on the ceiling. Unfortunately, you can't exit or enter the ship with the Fury using this aft elevator. There's just not quite enough room. All right, I think that's going to do it. Thank you, Batty, for the assistance on this one, and thank you, everyone, for the support and the engaging conversation in the comments. Keep those coming. I tried to make this list as complete as possible, but I'm sure I missed something, so let me know what you think I should have added. This one ended up being kind of a lot of work, so like if you liked it, subscribe for more, and until next time, see ya!